Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Robinson here again. We're continuing our study skills series with this show dedicated to this nice young man, Raymond, good helper. His topic today is tax and total price. So get ready to talk about real life situations dealing with percentages. So if you need help with your homework, there's Dollar Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give them a call. They're very nice people. Don't forget to watch our YouTube videos on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson, PKNS, Peak Skill Middle School. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Write me a comment. I do write back. Coming soon, PKMS Math Prep 22. And we're still working on it. Coming soon. You can tweet me at DRobMath1. Don't forget to watch our show Math Time on Tuesdays, 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cablevision, Channel 15, only in Peekskill. All right, let's get going. So today we're talking about taxes and total price. So let's see what our goal is for today. And let me release it in Espanol. You're going to be able to calculate the tax and total price of an item. So you're going to go do a little shopping. So all right, here's some notes that you should know for yourself. Percent is always out of the magic number, ciento, 100. So keep that in mind. We use a calculator to solve most of these percent problems. So usa una calculadora. Now, we're going to be talking about money a lot. So one thing you should know in America, we have two numbers that are after the decimal point. So please make sure you know that. Here's an example, $1 and zero two cents. So we have to have two numbers. I know on calculators, it usually has one number after the decimal point. Uh, if, uh, if you uh, see that, put a zero at the end. That way you can know what, how much money you're talking about. So we do talk about two places after the decimal. So that's money and that's something you should know, all right? So here's a question about my student Joshua and in Espanol, and here it is in English. So Joshua buys a new outfit for the school dance. The shirt is $24.99, the pants are $19.99, and the belt costs $7.50. If the rate of tax is six and three fourths percent, how much does Joshua pay in total? So he wants to go to the dance. So there are a couple things we should know when we're working on this problem. We want to know how much is he going to pay in total? Well, let's see what he bought. So his outfit consisted of first a shirt that cost $24.99. So I'm going to write down his shirt and get its price right here. Then he bought some pants. His pants cost $19.99. So I'll write that down. So I'm getting a total over here of expenditures. How much did he spend? So that way I can find out what was his total amount spent. So he also purchased a belt. His belt cost $7.50. Now, if you notice how am I adding this up, if you haven't seen my video on adding decimals, check it out. So we're gonna line up all of those numbers in underneath the decimal point. So the decimal point is gonna be straight and we add it all up, nine and nine, 18. And you know, you can use your calculator by the way. So uh, carry the one, that's 10 and 19, 24, carry the two, that's 2, 6, uh, 15, and I believe that's 22. And let me carry the 2. 2, 4, 5. $52.48 is what he spent. 
So he spent that much money. Now, we also have one more thing we have to talk about, and that's the tax. So he has tax of 66 and three-fourths percent And we got to pay that, or he has to pay that on his $52.48. So we got to find out how much that is. This is a good time to go to Desmos Calculator. So I'm going to go get my Desmos Calculator. And... scientific calculator there it is now it's six and three-fifths I'm sorry three-fourths so let me get my fraction button going three and go down fourths and let's move over press we have a percent button we can press and you have the word of there of means multiply so you can press the multiplication sign and multiply it out uh, or you can do it that way. So $54, and I believe it was 28 cents. Let me make sure of that. $54.48, not, not 28 cents, Dr. Bob. Okay. $52, nope, $52, Dr. Bob. Come on, wake up. $2.48. And over here, it gives you an answer already. That Three dollars and fifty-four. And let's copy that. That'd be a good idea. So let's copy that and put it on our page of, of notes. So that would be the tax. But if you remember from the notes, we're only allowed to have two numbers in the United States after the decimal point. So I got to stop right there and talk about that. We got to talk about rounding off. So uh, if you're going to round off to the nearest penny, because we want to know, is that going to be to the nearest penny? The penny is the fourth, the four. So we want to know, should that be four pennies or five pennies? So we go to the number that's next to the four, which is the two. And remember the rule, if it's five or more, we're going to add one. If it's four or below, let it go. So that's a two, and that's less than, so I'm going to let all of that stuff go. So that's gone. So my tax is going to be $3.54 tax on all the stuff he purchased. So that's extra amount they're going to charge Joshua for buying the clothes. So his total is going to be, I'm going to take the $52.48 and add $3.00 and 54 cents tax and add it up and again as i said you can use your calculator which would be fine and i'm gonna add it up so let's add it up all right eight plus two is eight plus four is 12 carry the one uh one four that's five and another five is 10 carry the one put my decimal point down there one two is three plus another three is six and five and nothing. So he pays a total of $56.02. So that's how much Josh would spend for all those nice clothes so he can go to the dance. So let's release it over here. And there we have it. So if you notice over here, I have the, my total. So if you're wondering where the $52.48 came from, I added up all the items that he purchased. And then I multiplied the tax rate by the amount he spent, and I noticed it came out to this extra here. So let's talk about that for a quick second. Remember, we have to round off. There are my rules for rounding. And when I added up, it came to the total of $56.02, which is his total. So there we go. So I hope you got it right. If you're not sure what we're doing, rewatch the video and Definitely write down your questions and bring them in so that way we can find out what's going on. So if you need help, there's Dollar Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-77-3380, Monday to Thursday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give them a call. 
Don't forget to watch my study videos on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson, PKMS. Subscribe to our channel. Help us get to our next 1,000 subscribers. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Write me a comment. I'll be glad to write you back. Check out one of our latest releases, Math Prep 21. And you can tweet me at DRobMath1. Don't forget to check out our show, Math Time, on Tuesdays, 4.30 to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cablevision, Channel 15, only in Peekskill. If you would like a worksheet on some of the stuff we just did a minute ago, write me at drobinsonpeekskillschools.org. And there's little Kinsley from Math Prep 21. Good movie, The Pandemic. So I hope you enjoyed our study skills series with uh, Raymond there, the tax and total price. Good topic. So this is Dr. Rob signing off. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.